Boom, viewers, subscribers, back again with these quick updates because trust, if it's not for it, if I'm king, it's mixed up, it's not credible, I keep on telling you that you don't know the things that people bless up on this up on a good Friday, yeah, but you know my style, I really want bag of one in a one, I'm not going to tell you a lie, people. <laughs> Yo, look all them deal with blood now. Hey, it's a procky man. Nearly cost the money, him <laughs> People putting out the comment section, what do you think about this, you know? Rumors were spreading that them did break up and no TMZ shut down. The rumors, you know. But yet still, Rihanna, Stella, and Fala, Amina, as you know, Asa Praki has history with both of them. Because, you know, she a designer and, you know, he's from Harlem and that's where designer people them there, you know. But anyway, people like, share the video from now and let's get into the Jamaican stuff. Her flight. Carly, wake up, it's your birthday. Carly, you gonna miss a flight. <laughs> well, hi, Carly. I came all the way here. You came here. I came here to meet with you. Why? So where we going tomorrow? And I'm blocking you. <laughs> I'm, blocking I'm not, I'm blocking you. Make sure your suitcase is packed. You're leaving at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. That's yes. early. I, I ain't never seen you go nowhere at 7 a.m. That's, that's, that's why I'm coming to wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see nobody. You ain't going nowhere. Birthday no coming up. I don't believe you. You want to lock me? No. <laughs> Happy birthday. Where are we going? Where are you going? I don't know. You know. I promise I don't know. You just I mean, going? I <laughs> Oh my God! You trust me that bad? You trust me? Yeah, I trust you. Okay. Okay, I'm happy you trust me. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> you trust me. Opportunity to serve you again soon. A very happy special birthday to Miss Carly from Spice and the Delta family. Woo! Well, it looked like Seth Spice finally got to surprise Carly Red, as you know. She was trying to surprise her for her birthday party and had her blocked for all of these times, you know. And it looked like said the place them Ghana, Costa Rica, San Jose. And she had this caption to say, Here's too many more fun and laughter. Happy birthday, Carly Red. I swear the hardest thing I ever did in my life was to surprise you with this trip. She called everyone I knew asking where I'm going this week and I had to block her for my IG outfits at Grassy Noir. Second slide is me at her house beating her door down to get her ass to the airport on time. I checked her in and she had no idea where we were going until we landed. I love you sis. Thank you for flying to Jamaica for all of my birthdays and one thing I'm sure of is that you will never turn your back on me. Genuine people are hard to find, so cherish the real ones when you do. The story of how Yandi surprised her is the whole other movie itself. And I mean, big up Wanda, finally we can stop hiding. 876 Pilot, big up all the air traffic and tracks who people. So, yeah, people, like I said, you know, from Wadia, yeah, she's been given clues where um, she had go. You know what I mean? So it's definitely a good look. Big up yourself, Spice. Queen of Dance Hall and Big Up Yourself, Carly Red, you see me, People putting out a comment section, where did you think that Spice was taking um, Carly Red? I thought maybe Jamaica, but obviously I was wrong. Putting out a comment section, your thoughts. Now, you know, she tends to uh, miss the Grammys and she didn't have no clout. You know what I mean? Yes, you know, she was trying to be a part of the conversation of the Grammy week, but... She never did it. I spice get all the clothes, you know. Um, 
Even though Shensi has said she was attending a Grammy or one of these interviews she do. But obviously Kanye way pulled out or whatever the reason, for whatever reason Kanye never go. So she never go, you know. Boy, boy, boy. But you know Doja Cat on the weekend who's managed by Sally Jessin is performing at Coachella. Um this Friday and Saturday and Sunday, you know, Coachella weekend as you can see. Um they're heading there, so she won't be performing. Um I don't see her anywhere on the lineups, but I do see coffee, so it's definitely a good look for coffee. We know that coffee no off a hold on a stage, you know. Um, and she have some good songs that the crowd should vibe to, you know, like Toast and Rapture and all of these stuff. So it's definitely a good look for Coffee. And you know, so she have her album out as well. You see me, I say, but just in giving them up there, we'll go on with Shensia because I'll be a people that ring down my DM and I ask me, you know, Shensia performing and all of this stuff. So no, she won't be performing, um, but she will be there. You know what I mean? As a young youth, you see me, I say, because you know Coachella, young people thing, you know what I mean? And I'm sure she will enjoy herself watching the people that perform. Maybe she can learn a thing or two, you know what I mean? Because she need help on stage, you know? But like I said, at a weekend, first time, and not the first time, at a weekend over this on Coachella, um, because Kanye Webbs pull out and all of these things and Doja Cat, so it's definitely a good look for you, you know? We get to put that on uh, and uh, put in uh, the headlines and all these things. So put in uh, the comment section your prediction about coffee, though. You know what I mean? How do you feel? What do you think about coffee performing at Coachella? Do you think she would flop? Or you think she would have make it? You see, man, I see. Because right now, Jamaica and them not looking good internationally, at least on them big thing, yeah. You see, me, I see, because of sh- Shensia. <laughs> This line is so long, bro. Thank God we ain't in it. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> now, Foot the Hype is going to have a field day with this one. You see what I'm saying? You don't know the thing said, people. We say Foot the Hype. And Tony Mataran basically rubbed the ish out of spice. For performing, um, for the performance she will be doing in Toronto. In prior Toronto, to be exact, where she'll be performing for the LGB, you know what, community. And when that was announced, people, the whole of Foot of Hype and Tony Maturan disrespected Spice, you know. So much so, Spice had to unfollow both of them, you see me, I said. I know what she do to Foot of Hype, you see me. I know Foot of Hype can't recover. But you know what the thing said, people. Shensia is trying to break through in that American market and... You know, she's only known for, you know what I mean? Yeah. London on the tracks, girl. Or, you know, she as London would forget her album done and all of these things. You know, everybody is talking about Shensia, but not her music. In uh, the American world, you know, so... That's why I said she have to try to work with the, the bottom community. You see me, I say, because you know, say that them embrace Spice a lot, you feel me? And you know that them trying to copy everything that Spice do. It's no secret by this um, time, you know, and this is why she made the bottom man win the league competition. You see me, I say, she know, she know. But anyway, people, we see Spice, I do Pride Canada, Toronto, and Shensi is doing Pride NYC and according to the Sentinel and this is what they had to say about Shensi of um, performing they said in the span of five years and people like me say I don't got no problem with Shensi and Spice doing this you know what I mean all, all of them done mess up dance all already and freak it out and all of these things you see what I say so me not business what them artists you want to do but anyway they said in a span of five years, Shensia has ascended to Jamaica's dancehall ranks to become one of the genre's most sought after artists. Known for her alluring style and bold delivery in patois rhymes, calling DJing in Jamaican parlance, 
Shensia has already worked with some of Dancehall's top acts since the beginning of Interscope first Dancehall signing. She has collaborated with a wide range of artists from various genres such as Kanye West Vibes, Cartel, Me Northern Africa, Cartel and Anabati Argument, Sean Paul, Christina Aguilar, Shaggy and Sanchez Gaul, uh, Major Lacia, Young Thugs, Whaley and Masajo, whatever, Masajo. She has come out onto the scene with a bang in 2021. I thought she was going to say, come out the classic. You know, she say, I bottom open, you know, which mass single, Run, Run and Be Good. She was featured on Pure Souls and OK, OK Part 2. Kanye West highly anticipated on the album, as well as How I'm Feeling. On the Madam soundtrack, she is following up these releases with the full-length album at the end of the year and on 2022 tour. Yeah, like I said, people... We know, we know the best business for Shensi, I want to feel about the people, them, you know. You know what I mean? Because we've been a bonfire run here, so I'm not going like say, are we mash up dance hall? I want an artist, them, a mash up dance hall, you see me? You know what I mean? You know, the artist, them, it's not catering to Jamaicans, you know. They catering to the world, you see me? But anyway, I'm not going to long out that one year any longer. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when I drop the latest in dance.